Now that we've created our roof decking with roofing kit, it's time to add some components to it. But before we do, let's take a quick minute and understand a little bit further of what we're looking at here in the Kits tab. If we click on the Fascia with Closed Soffit Kit, and then let's reference a view of the list. Notice at the top that there's a parent application of Fascia, the same as when that kit gets used in the list. The parent application is at the top. And then underneath that parent application are all of the components. And again, the same is in the list. And as you look at the components, from left to right, they match the left to right order as in the list. Application first, then product family, then equation or input. So let's return to our roof decking with roofing kit now and add some kit components. We'll click the plus button and the add kit component box will appear. There are four main sections, application, product families, input, and report. Starting with application, you'll remember that we wanted roofing underlayment to be a part or to be a component of roof decking. So we'll pick roofing underlayment as the application for this particular component. By filling in the rename field, we can have that application automatically renamed for us as the component is used. We'll call it roofing felt to better fit our needs. Next, we'll go to product families. The important thing to ask yourself is, do you want a product family to automatically be displayed in the product field when the component is populated? Or do you want it to be blank? If you want it to be blank, then do nothing in this section. If you want a product to appear, such as 15 pound roofing felt, you can right click on it and choose to set it as the initial product family. By clicking away, we can see that it is now bold, indicating it is the initial product family that will display when this component is used. Moving on to input, we'll discuss this later in more detail in a different video, but for our case, we want the square footage from the parent to be used in this input field of roofing underlayment. So we'll click the SF button. Finally, do we want this item to report in a different pack from the roof decking? In this case, we do. We want it to go to the roofing pack, so we'll type in roofing as the pack for this item. Then we'll click OK, and the component is added, and you can see the important pieces of information about this component are listed. The application, the product family, equation, and pack tag. Now let's go on to add the roof shingles to this kit for roof decking. Once again, we'll start with the application and we'll find roof shingles within the list. Since we're happy with that application name, we won't use the rename function this time. We find roof shingles and add it. Next, we want squares of shingles to be our initial product family. So we right click on it and choose set as initial product family and it becomes bold and will appear when we make use of it in the list. Again, we want the square footage from the parent of roof decking to be used here in roofing, and we want the shingles to report into a different pack, so we assign roofing as the pack. And now it's been added to our list. And now that it's in our list, we can choose to reorder those components in any order that we would prefer by using the up and down arrows. So now let's go over to the project and see how this actually works out in the list. We'll come to the roof pack and using the roof decking application, which is associated with this kit that we have just created, we'll pick a product and enter a square footage of 500 square feet. And as we tab through, those common kit components have now been populated within the list. We have the roofing felt application with a roll of 15 pound felt four square product already entered since we set that as our initial product family along with an input of 500 square feet because it matches the 500 square feet from the parent. The same with roof shingles. Squares of shingles was our initial product family and the 500 square feet is matching the square footage of the parent item. So now you can generally see how you can create a kit and its components and have them be used in the list. Be sure to look at the other videos about how to make better use of the equation editor, kit usages, and existing kits.